right. We're going to play this R. Kelly audio real quick. Let's see what he's got to say. You know, I'm professional at what I do. This is part one of five parts, the other four parts. I'm going to put it up on the 100 YouTube channel. Uh-huh. Uh, but this one right here is uh, this is real in-depth shit, bro. He's coming back. He's trying to get his appeal going. And you're and you're supporting Hello? him. Oh, here we go. There we go. Yeah, I'm listening, bro. If this disciplinary hearing officer hadn't illegally accessed all of my is, records. Is it loud enough? I don't know where it's playing from. Scanned them to her illegally scanned them to her own personal Gmail account. Okay. Then illegally gave them to Tasha K. Yeah, crank that up. Then those records, those communications between me and my other girlfriend would have never reached my girlfriend's ear or eyes for her to get pissed off enough to come to my visit the last time and curse me out telling me she heard all of the phone calls and saw all of the emails, even phone calls between me and my attorney, she told me. And she wouldn't have been mad. Wait, wait, wait. The bitch got the rec- I ain't gonna call it bitch. But the lady, the officer got the, the lady got the recordings? Man, my, my, my girlfriend came to my my visit, the last visit. Yeah. Okay, in 2019, and cursed me out, saying she heard me talking to my other girlfriend. Okay, and so what I'm trying to understand me, is... She heard me talking to my lawyer, saying I'm not leaving my other girlfriend for her. She had this conversation with me and snapped on me in my last visit and left. And after that, she went and was tested and started and joined the feds and was testifying against me. That's yeah. what happened. And I didn't, know, I didn't know how she knew those things. Everything she said, I said was true, but I didn't know how the hell did she know until three weeks before my verdict, which was in 2021, in the middle of trial. And then I that's started coercion, out bro. That's, <clears throat> that, hey, that's, co- that's coercion all day. So his attorney came in to visit him, and they got into some kind of argument, and so she goes into his jail email and takes all of his emails and then what, presents them to the prosecution? No. The His fucking, ex-girlfriend, right. No, the prison guard. Prison guard. The prison guard who worked in the prison went into R. Kelly's emails 153 times and sent those emails to her personal email, then went home and sent the emails to Tasha K. Mm. The prosecution gets a hold of them. And approaches R. Kelly's girlfriend, right. the one that's visiting with him and standing with him, right? Uh-huh. And shows him all the emails of him emailing his other girlfriend. Mm, and that's how they turned her on him. She then turned on R. Kelly and became a witness for the prosecution. Mm. And she represented... 95% of the case. Why do they go to Tasha K with this kind of information? I don't know, but let's continue. Okay. Well, that's what I'm trying to tell you. So, you know, if the law hadn't broke the law, and because I didn't find out about it until three weeks before the trial. If the law had broke the, the law, then the law could have, the law, the law could have, could have worked in your favor. Exactly. So, you know. So how but, important was her testimony? <laughs> She was 95% of my case, bro. I told you that. Oh, damn. She was the main witness, the star witness. And per my lawyers, she was the main witness in my case. Now, I know it's a lot of people out there that don't want to hear this, don't want to, you know, you know, don't, don't, may not like R. Kelly or want to listen to my music or may believe anything they hear about me or whatever. Don't but listen to that, bro. Don't but, listen no, but listen, that. listen. But at the end of the day, my constitutional rights are supposed to look just like everybody else's everybody constitutional else. rights. My due process is supposed to look like everybody else's due everybody process. Else there, due should process. Not, there should not be a celebrity version of the Constitution. Yeah, you right about that. The law is not some remix they can just remix to their agenda, bro. The remix to their agenda. I should not be treated like yeah. some prosecutor's trophy, King bro. And I'm just being real. The law broke the law. 
No, the that law makes sense. broke the law. And because the law broke the law, it ultimately got me where I'm at right now. Because if that officer hadn't given Tasha K my restricted jail records, what does restricted mean? That mean don't go in that area. That mean don't mess with this. Yeah. She did it, and a search warrant says she did it. R. Kelly's not saying she did it. I'm going off of what the search warrant says. Search she warrant said, yeah. And that and search, search warrant was signed off by her own time, which is a judge, huh? Yeah, the search warrant was initiated by their side, not yours. Right. And look, this is more. This is important. This is why I want, you know, anybody to get involved and make the Department of Justice aware of these crimes to get a transparent, thorough investigation into Officer A sharing my jail records with internet blogger Tasha K and who she shared them with. All emails, text messages, phone calls, computer traces must be fully investigated. Now, Merrick Gardland, U.S. Attorney General, the Department of Justice, 950 Pennsylvania Avenue, Washington, D.C., Two zero five three zero. Now here's the case number for the for the search warrant. The case number, so people can see it for themselves. And then don't, if you don't believe me, you can look at, at it yourself. The case give number is search warrant. Mark, give it to him. Two zero M one four eight. That's the case number. Search warrant. It's unsealed in the Northern District of Illinois Eastern Division. Look, the Chicago Tribune in the Chicago Sun-Times, put the article out about my jail records being stolen by Officer A on 9-7-21. There was, this call is from a federal prison. There was two newspapers that put the article out. I'm, I'm not, you know, listen, if you know, people may say, well, he had his, ch his chance in court. He had a, a jury of his peers. First of all, I don't know about jury of my peers. I just know this. If the if the jury had known this, if they had known this because it had happened before they even picked the jury, and if that jury had known this, this would have went another way. But I feel like I shouldn't even went to trial because it happened in 2019 while I was in Chicago. Now, since this DOP officer has done this, she just retired. She was never charged. They only call her officer A. They don't reveal her name or nothing. Got you. Well, we able to go pull it, dig into it, see what's there. But nevertheless, it's obviously a case of coercion for them to sway a witness that was standing on your side to stand on <clears throat> the prosecution side, yeah, which represented not a support me. She was yeah. supporting me. 100% until she saw some damn emails. Six months worth of lovey-dovey emails. I'm going to keep it real. She saw six months of worth of lovey-dovey emails between me and my other girlfriend. Are, and got, are you know what the people are going to say, Art? Are you know what the people going to say? All not learn this goddamn lesson just to be a one-woman man. Goddamn, we couldn't okay. do it on the street. Can't do it right but, behind the wall. You know right, it but, you know, but, but, but at the same time, bro, when they say that, that's fine. That's okay. But at the end of the day, you don't go to jail for being a player. and You definitely don't do no 30 years. You got that right. Okay, so let's cut the right. bull crap, bro. Okay. You got that right. Yeah, I can learn my lesson, and I have learned my lesson. Believe me. But you don't learn a lesson for 30 years. No, you because got that a right. girlfriend is mad because of another girl, so she'll get up on the stand and say anything. It's called woman scorn, bro. This ain't the first. Robert Kelly is not the first one to have emails and phone calls and text messages to another woman. There's no law against that either. My point. But there is a law against stealing information, so I want people to focus more on the law breaking the law. You don't break the law. You can't break the law to enforce the law. Thank you. Right about that.
I'm gl- I'm thank that's you, because so you, you, you can't do that, and that's what's been done. The search I warrant want... says it, not Robert Kelly. The search warrant said it, and I just gave the search warrant you know, number, but that's yeah. it says. It. And got, all I'm trying to do is get the investigation. They, won't, listen, they haven't shared the investigation. Listen, I'm here to be a voice for you. So some of this I want to take. I got a platform. I don't know if you're familiar with No Jumper. Familiar with, with No Jumper? Oh, man, I'm behind these walls, man. I ain't seen uh, well, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, well, it's a large platform. It's we got 40 seconds. 20, it's ran by Adam 22, so I'm letting you know that I'm going to take um, this last conversation we had right here, and I'm going to present it today on No Jumper so people can hear that case number and we can get it going. And uh, you got my word, and I'm going to be your voice. And call me back as many times as you want to. Whatever you need, you need. And definitely get me with those attorneys so we can get that Birdman business going. As soon as they come see me, I am. But I'll be calling uh, you. Yeah, every get day, me to them. Not never the last. You. Get them my number. I'll call you every other day just to chop it up. All right. All right. Whatever you want to call me, hit me, bro. It don't matter if it's every day, ten times a day. I'm open. All right, whack. One. All right, love. Every day, ten times a day. That's your, your best friend now. I got to do my own research it's into biggest. what he's talking about in terms of how big a role those leaked documents played in his case. But it's very, very interesting. Bro, let me explain something. I love that you're still hitting the grimace shake. Let me hit you. Let me explain something to you. <laughs> All that came out before a jury was picked. Mm. Jury was tainted. They shouldn't have never allowed that witness to be included in that trial. She was 95% of his case. When they want to get you, they'll find a way. Sometimes they get you, but can't hold you. Mm. It's a lot of cases that people come home on not because they did or didn't do it, because of technicalities. Right, but they weren't going to let that happen with him. Not after all these years. Not at that time. No. They fucked up. The other recordings I got, you'll learn who actually initiated the search warrant on the prison guard's home. Okay. That's when it gets interesting. Really? That is interesting. You want to know something funny is that Vlad, maybe a month ago, did an interview with R. Kelly and then chose to not release it because, in his words, he was just doing a lot of talking about, like, you know, basically a conspiracy theory against him and stuff, which is what I'm guessing he was referring to is this. That's not a conspiracy theory. Right. That's a real case number. But basically... He wasn't happy with the direction that the interview went because he was throwing all these other people's names in and accusing them of yada yada. I, I I'd have to do a lot more digging well, to Well, that. um there's no name thrown in there but Officer A, which if you look at the paperwork, that's how they identify the individual that went in and took the emails and and did what they did. If no jumper frees R. Kelly, I feel like the media is probably gonna be extra out to get us. No, it's that's, whack. That's okay. Whack 100. Well, I'm part of it. Listen. I'm pretty hyped that, that R. Kelly didn't that, know what No Jumper was. was He's like, I'm behind these walls. <laughs> I just wanted him to know. He knows what I'm doing with that clip. The other clips, he knows it's going up on my platform, my other platform. Right. Um, Clubhouse heard one of them. You know, I got to look out for Clubhouse. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Got to look out for Clubhouse. No, yeah, I'm interested to hear the rest of it, too, for yeah. sure. That was interesting. Wow, man. You really tapped in with R. Kelly. That's crazy. Yeah, it's, you know, some other business going on, too. Oh, yeah? What are you going to do? Are you going to put out his next album? You got some unreleased stuff? Uh, Like 32 songs.